Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Tea, and today we're making pumpkin pie macaroons. Check out my spatula. In our mixer, we're gonna add our egg whites, cream of tartar, and beat them until they're at stiff peak. We're gonna beat it up with a little bit of tar, tar, cream of tartar. Not tartar sauce, guys, cream of tartar. Look it up, it has a word here, so. So I'm gonna turn that guy on. So look, guys, this is how you know they're stiff. I'm gonna do it, because I trust myself. Ah, oh my god. Okay, so they're pretty stiff. They're really stiff, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pumpkin spice just to taste. I add, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few pinches at first. It's kind of, it's really strong. It's really warm. You don't wanna add too much because this is the shell. So you want it to be very like delicate. You don't want it to be too cray cray. Kind of just until it's like really aromatic. You really get a sense where you can really smell it at this point. I'm really pungent and I'm really loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another pinch. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my food coloring as well. I want the shell to be a little bit orange. So I'm gonna use yellow and red because I learned in grade school that if you mix yellow with red, it makes orange. Yellow, boom, red. I like this color actually. I don't wanna over mix it because if I over mix it, then I'm gonna ruin the shell. After you get it to your desired color, we're gonna go ahead and add the wet to the dry, a third of the meringue at a time. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut in with our beautiful pumpkin spatula. It is fun and messy, just like me. Actually, no, we're not gonna put that in there because I'm not messy. People think that's like a bad term nowadays, right? People say, oh, that girl's messy. You know what, sometimes messy can be a little bit fun. You know? That, that's the new wave. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the last of it. So we're gonna put this all in a piping bag. So we're gonna go grab our sheet tray. Now we're gonna start piping. You kind of just wanna get as close to the paper as possible and release. And you wanna make sure they're all around the same size. Push, release. So at this point, we're gonna let them dry out for a second so they're dry to the touch. Right now, as you can see, if I touch them, it's still wet and sticky. So here in California, it's probably gonna take me about 30 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna get our buttercream started. I'm gonna put this up and I'll show you how to make some buttercream. So now we're gonna be making the Italian style buttercream. Since we are doing a pumpkin pie style macaroon, we're gonna be adding a little bit of pumpkin puree to the buttercream. This is homemade pumpkin puree. I used one tiny pumpkin to make this. But if you wanna just go ahead and buy a pre-made can, you can do that. Everything is gonna be to taste. So if you do decide to buy the can, make sure you get a really, really small one. So we're probably gonna be adding about like a few tablespoons. That's about it. For the Italian style buttercream, we're gonna go ahead and add our egg whites and our sugar inside our mixer. There's a pinch of salt in here as well. We're gonna kinda mix it up a little bit. And we're gonna put it over my double boiler back there, just until the sugar is dissolved. We're gonna bring it up just till it's warm to touch and until the sugar is dissolved. So when you put your finger inside, you wanna make sure you don't feel any sugar. Right now I do, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Italian style buttercreams are actually my favorite style buttercream. And it's kind of funny because we're doing a French style macaroon with Italian buttercream, but it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be okay. Okay? Don't worry about it. All right, now it's warm to the touch, and it's dissolved. So we're gonna put it back on the mixer. Once the sugar is dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and add it right back onto the mixer and mix it until the bowl is room temperature. Once it's at room temp, we're gonna change our attachment to the paddle. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cold butter. Put it in hot, check this out guys. So now, when I touch them, boom, nothing. Boom, they're ready to go in. They're beautiful and they're ready to go in. So we're gonna put them in 350, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add that beautiful pumpkin buttercream into my piping bag. So once those come out, we're ready. What is pumpkin pie without whipped cream? Don't even attempt to answer that because I'm making a maple syrup whipped cream that we're gonna add right on top of these beautiful macaroons when they come out. 
we're gonna just add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Remember, this is gonna go on top of the macaroon, so we don't need that much of it. So we're gonna add just a little bit. We're gonna whip it up. In goes our real maple syrup. Real, 100%. I don't want to use that boo-boo stuff. I don't want to use that foo-foo maple syrup that I see, the, ma the fake maple syrup. No, we don't want to use any of that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and add our real, once again, our real maple syrup in here. Buttercream is in the bag. We're gonna go down on the max right now. We're gonna go down in the DM. Just kidding, we're going down on the max. And now we're gonna put the whipped cream on the mac just like that you want to eat these right away because you know whipped cream is gonna mess with the texture just a little bit so all right guys and that's it these are our pumpkin pie macarons phil loves them i love them you're gonna love them the recipe is down below please like and subscribe peace love and blessings happy thanksgiving hope to see you guys soon do it Mm. Yo, it's a fucking pie now.